Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm going to do a video about the Gypsy. Um, just turn it on, just hold the button down till the light turns blue, and you'll see that it's coming on. And it would have come with this little cable here. We're going to hook this up to our Cricut. So you just plug that into the top like that, and then in around the back of your Cricut, you can see that it plugs in right there next to the power source. That's the power. Just plug it in right there. Okay? And just turn your um, Cricut on. You can see I don't have any overlays. I don't have a cartridge in there or anything. You just need to have it turned on. All right, so the Gypsy is ready to go. And this screen will pop up. Just a little welcome screen. And it's going to show um, a few little options here. This one with the wrench is just how to change the brightness of your screen, the screensaver timeout, um, which just means as you're working, the screen will just kind of go to sleep if you haven't done anything in a while. So I have mine set to one minute. And then you can set your date and time, calibrate your screen, and if you're left or right-handed. Okay, so you just hit exit. This thing here is the Cricut Imagine. That's like a, it's almost like a color printer for Cricut. I don't own one of these, but I just figured I'd show it in case anyone out there has an Imagine but does not have a Gypsy and want to know what the what the Gypsy can do for them. So here's all the different options. Uh, like I said, I don't have one of these, so I don't know what any of this means. Sorry, <laughs> but it says print and cut. So let's go into there. So there's some different images. I don't know. I guess that'll mean something to those have that have one of these. I don't know. Sorry, I can't help you with. It. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit that menu button and go back out. So there you go. That's what uh, that's what that screen will look like. So um, have fun with that. Um, I'm just going to exit, and then here's photos. You can load photos from your computer onto your Gypsy. So I've got some family photos on here. You can put your photos on by name or date that they were taken. You can go into here and see all your photos at once. So I have, whoops, I have a bunch of photos on here. I can tap on one, increase the size so I can see it. There's my little guinea pigs, and I can exit out. So that's that feature. I'll do a video someday about how to put your pictures on there if you want. So we're just going to exit out. Now the one that you're going to use the most is um, your Cricut. So you just tap on him. It just takes a minute to load. Okay, loading Cricut application. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's all your options. So you can do a new file, you can open one, you can open it as a template, update your Cricut, delete a file, or link a cartridge. Now if you need to update your Cricut, you just tap on the arrow, it'll take you in there. Now I know mine doesn't need to be updated, so I'll show you what it says. So it's just saying, no upgrade necessary, your Cricut is currently running firmware that's compatible with this Gypsy. So I know that um, I don't need to update it or anything, so it's it's fine. Um, so I can just hit OK. If you do need to update your Cricut, um, just make sure that, that they're plugged in and talking to each other. And it's just going to run through a program. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to run through the entire thing. And your machine's going to turn off and turn on and whatever it's doing. Just make sure your Gypsy is fully charged so that you don't get halfway through and your battery dies or something crazy. Because, um, yeah, not that that's ever happened to me. Hmm twice. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. And now link cartridge. So I'm going to tap onto that. Now to link your cartridges, you would have received a cable that looks like this. Now on the end that says Gypsy, you just put your cartridge on the end there. So this is my pack your bags. And then the bottom of this, there's a silver part. Just make sure this part's facing down. And you just plug it into the bottom of your machine here, like that. So now we're connected. So it says, please ensure the Cricut cartridge is connected to the Gypsy and press OK when ready. So you just hit OK. It's reading the information. Now it's, it popped up, pack your bags up in this block right up here. It says, attention, this process permanently links the attached cartridge to this Gypsy. So that just means that once I link this to this Gypsy, this is the only Gypsy that that can be linked to. Um, you can still use this cartridge on any Cricut machine, but you can only now use it on this on this Gypsy. So it's not like I can go, oh, here, look, someone else can use it and add this to your Gypsy. You can't. 
Okay, so it's just for the gypsy that you own. All right, so pack your bags. So you just hit OK. Now, if this had to be linked, a license agreement would show up. You just read through it and just hit Agree. It's going to read through the cartridge information again. And then at the end, it'll show the name of the cartridge. And they'll say, congratulations, you have successfully linked this cartridge to this gypsy. Would you like to link another one? Now, as you can see, it says, I have already done, um, I've already successfully linked this cartridge to the gypsy. So if you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know if I ever did link this one, it's okay. Just plug it in. It'll tell you if you did or not. And you're, you can't hurt it. Okay, so I'm done. So I'm just going to hit no. And like I said, if you have to do more, just go through the same process. All right, so I'm just going to plug this from, for now. All right, so we're going to go into a new file and create a thing. So 12 by 6 is the original um, Cricut size. Now we've got 12 by 12 and the 24 by 12. So I always work on the 12 by 12. It's just a nice size. Okay, so congratulations, you've made it to the screen and now you've got a whole bunch of stuff and you have no idea what to do. You can go over to this little round button and um, push on that brings up all the new and open and save and delete and update and link cartridges and change your mat size the fact that it's plugged in the time of day the whole deal see this little circle with a question mark yeah I never thought to tap on that but let's <laughs> this is the instructions for this gypsy I never knew it came with instructions I've been frustrated since last Christmas when I got this thing going why does it now why didn't it come with instructions how could you put out a machine and not have any instructions yeah they're in the machine so they're all right there it explains everything so yeah mm -hmm. takes me a while all right exit so here's our screen you can go down to this little keypad tap on that and this is going to bring up the last cartridge that I was working on, which was a child here. If you want to see the other cartridges, tap in there, in that little square, and it's going to bring up, right now it's bringing up the linked cartridges. Linked cartridges, these are all the ones that I've, that I own, that I've linked to my Gypsy. So all my things are in there. If I want to see other cartridges, I just tap on the arrow, arrow up here and go into all cartridges. Now it shows not only the ones that I own, which are in black, but also the ones that I don't own, but that are available by um, Cricut and Provocraft. So they're all listed in there, and those are the ones that are in red. So the nice thing about that is that I can go in, tap on those, and even though I don't own it, I can play around with it. I can see if I even like it. I can go into the different layers that it has, layer one, layer two, there's banners, there's fonts, there's phrases. Now the only thing is, is I can't make out what any of those things say. If you hold your stylus down and scroll along the thing, it's going to show them to you in this little pink square and it brings them up a little bit bigger. If you still can't see them, tap on this um, top button here, tap on one, let go, and it brings it up full size. So now you can see it. Just keep your thumb on that button, tap away, and tap another one. Funky chicken. So you can go onto all the... Let your light shine. Um, so you can even get inspiration. Warm wishes. All right. So you can tap on all those. Now, it's brought them up in the screen up here. This is just like a typewriter. Just hit backspace and it'll go away. So um, that's how you see what the cartridges are like. Now, if I want to go and find a particular image and I have no idea what cartridge has it, tap on this little Cricut guy down here with the magnifying glass and a little keyword bar is going to pop up along with the little keypad. So I'm just going to go into keyword and it brings up the alphabet. Okay, say I'm looking for um, a cat. Okay, so we're going to look up cat. So you go into C, and we can scroll down. It has it in alphabetical order, and you'll see there's cats. Now there's cat and a bird, cat and the fiddle, cat bowl, cat dog. So let's just see the cat and the bird. Let's see what that looks like. You bring it up. They have it in, it's a chi uh, the child year cartridge. You just tap on it. And it'll bring it up. Actually, put it up in the thing there. Sorry, I did that too quick. If you hit on the um, little bug, sorry, I did that too fast again. If I click on the little cricket with a magnifying glass, it shows you 
um, a child's year and it shows you where that is on your little overlay thing. Okay? And then again you can tap on it and it'll bring it up into your screen if you need it. Another thing you can do is go back into that Cricut bug, go over in here into the keypad, and now you can type in whatever you want. So let's just clear that off and say I'm looking for Santa. So type in Santa and it's going to bring up all the Santas. So this is all the Santas that are on um, the cartridges that Cricut has. They might be, you might own it, you might not, you don't know until you actually click on it and find it. Now it could be everything. It could be Santa Claus, it could be Santa, Santa and a boy, Santa and a girl, his reindeer, his suit, it could be Santa Fe, um, Santa's hat. Okay, so let's just click on Santa's hat. So there's a Santa's hat in Three Birds on Parade, and there's one in Disney's Pooh and Friends. I'm just going to tap on this top button. I'm going to tap on the first one. So there's the one in Three Birds on Parade, and here's the one in Disney's Winnie the Pooh. Okay? So there you go. If I'm going to select that one, the Santa's hat on the Three Birds on Parade, I'm going to pick that and say OK. So now it's put it up in my thing. So now I've got the, the little cat thing there and I've got the Santa's hat. If I go back out into my cartridges by tapping onto that bar and so there was all cartridges and there was linked cartridges I can also go into cartridges in use and it's going to tell me every cartridge I've been using. So Three Birds on Parade is there and Child's Year is there because those are the ones that I've selected designs from. I can hit cancel and there they are up in my thing. Now I'm going to go into my mat and there are my images. They're right there on my on my screen, but I can't really see them and I want to bring them up bigger. So I just push on this circle over here and as I hold it you can see the designs are getting bigger and these numbers are changing. Okay, So here it is on my screen. They're the both images and I can move them all around with my stylus. Okay, If I want to just move the hat or the little squiggly thing, all I do is just tap it again and change it pink. And now I can move it independent of the cat. Okay? Kind of cool. If I tap it again and make the screen black, now if I move my stylus, all I'm moving is this little cursor thing. And then I can put it in position, so if I want to bring something else up in here, I can go back to my mat, do the little horseshoe, and come back, and there's my horseshoe up in there, and I just have to increase the size of it and I can move that independently because I've brought it in on its own. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Then you can delete things. So say I want to delete the horseshoe, I just hit the X and delete it. My little Santa hat thingy here, I can rotate that, I can go into advanced and I can rotate, I can do just little slight movements or I can do the big arrows and do great big swirly do's here and spin it all over the place. Okay. Now, um, the, uh, the main thing I want to show you today, I'm going to go in, I'll do another video another day. I can't totally bore you all in one day, so I'll do, <laughs> I'll do it on a separate video. Um, I want to go into my mat, and I want to find, um, in my linked cartridges, I'm looking for October 31st. So I'm going to go down here and find October 31st. And I'm trying to do a gate. Now, I see that there's a couple gates here. Again, I can't really see them close, so I'm going to push this button here. Tap on that one. That one's okay. And this one is cool with the spider web. So I'm going to pick this one. So I go in, I make sure it's up in my space up here, and I go into my mat. So here's my gate. I want to increase the size of it a little bit so I can see. Now, if I want to leave it at this size, but I want to zoom in and see the features on it, I can touch this top button again and I can tap on it and zoom right into it. The more I tap, the more it'll zoom in. And it'll reach a certain point where it can't go in any farther. If I want to move it around, I can just do this. I'm moving the whole shape around. If I want to move the whole page around, I can do that. So the bottom button right here moves the whole page. The top button will just move your design. Hang on. Oh, I don't even have to touch the top one. Oh, the top one zoomed. Sorry. <laughs> A little confusion there. Rewind and just watch that part over again because I confused you. Okay. So 
So now here there's the height and width part. Now in between width and height there's a little link. So when that's highlighted yellow that means that the width and the height are moving and keeping the item in proportion. So it's not stretching it, it's not um, making it crazy. It's keeping the same, the design the same um, way, but it's just making it bigger or smaller. Now I know right now that I want this to be six inches high. I'm making an album that's six inches by nine inches. So I'm going to go into my height or my width. It doesn't matter because these are linked. So whichever one I move, it's just going to do the same. So I just want to go into six and I'm going to hit OK. Now that's made it six inches. Up here is where your inches or millimeters are. I always work in inches. So when you go into your number pad like that, you just have to say six because it understands that you're talking about inches anyway. Okay, so there's my gate. It's at six inches. Okay, but the problem is I want to stretch my gate. I want to change the look of the gate and pull it out. So I need to change the width. In order to change the width without changing the height, you have to deselect this little link. Okay, so now they're not joined anymore. So if I go into width and I tap on that, that number pad pops up again. So I just tap into there and now I just want to hit 9 because I know I want it to be 9 inches. And I hit OK and there it stretched my gate. Okay, so there's my design. It's all ready to go. Now something else I want to show you. I'm just going to take that away. I'm going to go into a file that I already have. I want to open, it's asked me if I want to save my current design. I don't want to. Okay, so I want to open one of my files that I did before and it's called gate hide. It's up here. Now as you can see it's the gate that I was just working on but it looks a little bit different. So we're going to open that up. Now here it is, but as you can see it's outlined in blue, but the web part is all faded in gray. Now there's a feature on here which I have discovered recently and I love. Go into advanced and there's this little symbol down here. It's a corner with like a little heart looking thing. So you just tap on that and it shows the gate. Now it shows it back in its original square shape, but if you go back out to your mat it is indeed going to be the 6x9, so no worries. So we're going to go into this thing again and if you look very closely the spider web design is still there. It's just that, can you see that? There we go. The spider web is still there but I've hidden it. So I can tap on the pieces and show them again and have them brought back to the front and they will cut when I go to cut my image. But I don't want them there because I want one spider web fence, but I also want um, a shadow in behind it. And the thing is, is that with this particular cartridge, it's one of those solution cartridges, and it doesn't have a whole lot of options to it. Um, there's the design there, and it has some great designs, but if you look at the keypad overlay, it doesn't have layer one, layer two, shadows and borders and all that kind of stuff. So it's just a basic um, cartridge. But the nice thing is, is that I can make a shadow with the Gypsy. So there it is there. And, uh, is that one there? No. Okay. So I'm just going to say OK. So there's my image right here. I'm just going to make sure it's in the proper part of my mat. And now I'm going to show you how we can cut it out. Oh, the other thing I want to show you. You can add another image to this if you wanted. Here's a spider. So we're going to bring him in to our design. Now, as you can see, he brought it, it was brought in as big as my gate. So I just need to tap him to make him pink. Move him over and I'm going to shrink him down. And I also want to rotate him a little bit just for fun. and I'm going to move him and put him on top of the gate. Okay, so now when he cuts out, he's going to be part of that plain gate. So you could do whatever design. Doesn't have it could be a gate with hearts on it. It could be a gate with happy faces or flowers or whatever. It doesn't have to be the spider web. You might like this top part and the way that is the gate looks, but you might not like what's on it. So we've covered up the spider web and just did the spider. You could always leave this one side and have it still as a web and have the spider on there too. So there's my thing. Now I want to cut it. So I'm going to go into basic and here's the little knife down here. So I want to cut that. Now it's taken away all the gray lines and it's put everything into black and that's what my image is going to be when it when it cuts out. 
and you'll also see up here that it says load mat. Because the gypsy is hooked up to the Cricut, you don't have to load the mat with the um, with the Cricut machine because the Cricut and Gypsy are communicating with each other. So the button is actually just on the Gypsy. Okay, so I'm gonna get my mat and I've got it loaded. And if you have a mat, you know how it says, you know, load where the arrow is, but say your mat, you're always cutting in this section of your mat and it's lost its stickiness. You can always load it this way and if that end's still sticky. So let's hope this end of my mat is still sticky because I've been having some troubles lately um, with mats that aren't um, sticky anymore. So I'm just going to put some more tape just so we don't run into problems. Alright, so just hold your mat up to it and get your gypsy and just hit load mat on there and just kind of hold your mat and guide it but the machine's taking it for you and then all you do is you hit cut and it's going to cut. But first it says, please check the following settings on your Cricut before proceeding. Blade depth and pressure, and also make sure your paper is loaded and ready to cut. Well, my blade depth is fine, and you're going to notice too that it's showing four inches. Well, that's just because the last thing I cut on my Cricut was four inches, so no worries. It doesn't, it's talking to the gypsy anyway. So my pressure and speed are fine. I'm okay with that. And now we're just going to say okay and it's going to cut. And it gives you the option to pause or stop the cutting process if you need to, for whatever reason. My reason is usually because the paper is getting caught. But so far, so good. See? Isn't this fun? You have to go get a gypsy now. <laughs> I've had comments from people, I've done a video about the bind it all, and people said, I went and bought one because you said it was fun and I needed to have one. So now go buy a gypsy. They are really fun. Friends of mine had them before I had one, and I'm like, I don't get it. Everyone's all excited about this thing, and I can't figure it out. But it's enjoyable. Sad thing is, when they show in the commercials for these things that you actually take it to a soccer practice and things like that, I actually do. <laughs> My kids don't play soccer, but I've had it at the doctor's office, I've had it at my hair appointment. It's fun, just throw it in your purse. So now it's cutting the spider. Now if the spider was from, like, Create a Critter, it doesn't matter which cartridges, as long as you own the cartridges. Um, if I found an image in, um, I don't know, Garden of Words or something, or whatever, and I don't own that cartridge, it's not gonna, it's not gonna let me cut it. So you still have to buy the cartridges. And some people link these to their, link their cartridges to their gypsy and then get rid of the cartridges. Um, don't do that. Hang on to them. Okay, unload mat. Um, hang on to them, because someday you might just want to be cutting in something off your um, cricket. You might not want the gypsy or need to use the gypsy. Now look. Why that would ever happen, I don't know, because the gypsy's fun. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I like all my Cricut bar boxes and I like all my cartridges and stuff. So this is, that didn't cut so well right there. But there, so you can see, sorry, you can't. See, so there's my gate with my spider. And here's the other side of the gate. And that cut it like that. So isn't that cool? So you can, so many possibilities. So even though that was a Halloween gate, I could have that look like anything. So I think it's pretty cool. And I'll show you how I've used it recently. I'm doing um, a Halloween mini album and that's the gate that I did. So it's the 6x9 and so I did a background, a solid background like this one that I just did in purple and then I did another one in black so I could put a black backing on it. So, But it just made it nice and thick for the book because I knew it would be open and closed and I didn't want to just have little thin spider webs. And I just covered it in stickles. So, so that is a quick tutorial. Well, it's not quick. How long have we are going here? Oh my gosh, 20, 24 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so that is a quick... No, I keep saying that. That is a tutorial on your gypsy. A long tutorial on your gypsy. But anyway, I hope that helped. I hope that um, makes you want to buy one. Or if you already own one, I hope that makes you want to go play with it now. So go charge it up. Go play with it. Have fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.